Everybody, welcome back to everyone. We're playing another game of Total War Warhammer. I'm the Strategy Professor. Let's see here. Empire, huh? Yeah, I kind of want to run dwarfs into Empire and just or um. Uh... Britonia. Now that's who they started as, so I'm not sure if they're actually going to play Britonia or not. Um, but I've been meaning to try out this build. And we'll see how this works out. So, what I'm thinking with this build... Okay, he said forget it. Uh, he was looking to exploit some undead with his Bretonians or something. I don't know. We'll try it one more time here. But the build was looking to just really smash the Air Force. Because Bretonia is all about that Air Force. I do want to make a Bretonia video. Just to see. And it's unfortunate that people can do this. As I showed um, in past videos, this one guy, Mookip, who's the top 20, dodges every single game that he doesn't have a favorable matchup. At least that I could tell. He dodged me five times in a row. Because he wanted to play Empire versus Greenskins, and I wasn't Greenskins. So I chose Vampire Counts, which was still not a bad matchup for Empire. Definitely winnable. Uh, okay, who do I want to go against here? Um, fire, huh? I kind of want to try out this Vampire Counts, new Vampire Counts build that I have. I haven't looked at green skins today, but I think I have a good build with them too. But I'm going to try out the Vampire Counts. Um, I just tinkered with this a little bit. I don't remember exactly what I settled on, but let's see here. Okay. Yes. Alright, I like this build. We're going to try it out. So, all we're running is Spirit Leech. I don't think Spirit Leech is abusive anymore. Uh, they've nerfed its damage and people have potions. So, it's just a good way to finish off wards. Particularly ones that are fleeing. Because um, I don't have a good way to run them down. I mean, the Knights can run them down, but that just helps out a lot. And the Heck, of course. And then, uh, this overcasted to get another group of Crypt Horrors behind them is very powerful. Um, abilities. I'm not running Regeneration because I have three things that regenerate. I have Nehek, I have the Necromancer, and I have this thing. So I think I'm going to hit my regeneration cap, and just having the passive regeneration is very expensive. It's like 100 gold. So I'm going to try it without it. I'm not going to do the flying mount, because I don't want to get snared with a net of Amatok and shot out of the sky with a Luminarch, or just snared and then attacked with a bunch of uh, gunners or uh, riflemen or whatever. So I think just you don't want to run a flying mount against Empire or Bretonia, I think. Is the name of the game. Primarily because of Ned of Amentok with the Empire and Bretonia just has such superior air forces um, that it's just not a good idea. Yeah, I'm going to try out the Necromancer and I'm going to put him on this uh, corpse cart. Makes it a lot more expensive, but he's also durable. It's basically like you get a Necromancer almost with a free corpse cart. So it's like 200 gold for your Necromancer. So it does pile it all on one thing. So if they kill him, then you know, you're losing out uh, on quite a lot. But hopefully they won't snipe him out. We'll see. It does give him a little bit more health, which is nice. Um, and then, yeah, just the corpse cart spells, so we get that extra plus eight, plus eight, which is really nice. Uh, we get Unholy Lodestone, which is really nice. And I'm just running the heck. You don't have to run this, but I'm running it as a backup in case they snipe out my other lord, just so I have something to cast, and it only costs 70 gold. I think it's a decent idea. And then no scrolls. I would just run in a good thick front line, lots of zombies to soak up some shots. I do have a little bit of extra gold, so we'll go ahead and upgrade these. I think zombies are probably the best investment for upgrades because percentage-wise you're getting one attack and one defense. So that's 20% more melee attack and uh, you know a good chunk more melee defense, one six to 17% more melee defense. These are very good at beating up most Empire units. Now, not the Great Swords. But we want to match the Great Swords up against the Crypt Horrors, if at all possible. Uh, the Cairn Race are really good at just scaring a bunch of Empire units. They don't have... Um, they usually don't have high psychology units. So the Terror can be very powerful. Uh, Black Knights, just really good for the cost. You do not want these to fight Demigriffs, but if you can cycle them in and out of fights at 700 gold, they're a steal. Really good bargain. 
uh, crypt horrors just to try to match those up with great swords. You want to keep them out of spears and halberds as much as possible. Um, and then Mortis Engine's pretty good. It's on the expensive side, so Jerry's out. I'm just trying it out again. Uh, but it gives mass regeneration. And this is separate from the chair regeneration. They're called different things. If you look here, uh, what is it? It's called Unholy Lodestone. And his is called uh, Reliquary Binding. So I think both of those stack in terms of regeneration. So I think that'll be really strong. It does regenerate by itself. It does decent damage. There's only one of it. But it gets a um, 15 bonus damage against infantry. So it's got 45 attack. It does pretty good damage. Lots of piercing. So it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's okay. And it has quite a lot of health. Um, and it regenerates itself, and it causes terror. So you get a whole lot of things for 1400 so I think it is a bit on the steep side, but probably worth it. And that's my overall game plan. So pretty intricate uh, battle plan here. It's all about matchups. I think this is a pretty even fight. Typically. It's the things we have to watch out for. Do not get sniped by a Luminarch. Um, sniping from the Light Wizard is not as potent as it used to be, so that's not as much of a problem. Um, don't get the Lords picked off. So just try to keep your Lords up. Emperor Counts have very frail Lords because we don't have potions. Um, and then get the Crypt Horrors into the Great Swords and get your um, other units into everything else. If they have um, Cavalry, I want the Zombies to soak up Cavalry Charges and then we could put uh, Crypt Horrors on them. Now this guy's super slow on this corpse cart, so it's something we need to keep our eye on. These are two group. Uh, we can go ahead and throw them with the main two group. This is just kind of my... Um, well, I wish I could move these guys around a little bit. Oh, not here. Here. Okay, well, whatever. Um, if these are three groups, so we do want to flank with them. Here... And ideally, I should be able to flank from different sides. I'll just hold him in the back and see where he commits, and then I can choose where I want to go with him. Alright. And we'll make these our... Pick up my five group. I'm used to pressing five for artillery. This might be too many hotkeys. Uh, you know, I think I'm just going to put all of my specialized infantry over here, and then I can just micro them separately. But I definitely want my fodder on a separate keystroke. Let's go ahead and put them up front. And I want these guys here. And then just... Okay. The goal here, I'm pretty sure if I can keep my lords from getting sniped, I should be able to win. The regeneration is extremely powerful, particularly on the Grave Guard and the Crypt Horrors. So I think we have enough firepower to get through most Empire armies. Now, I did learn last time, well, that was with, well, I won't spoil it, but I think it's easier to take care of, um,. Flying Lord Harass. It's a lot easier to surround and kill them now, I think. The last video that I made that's going to show up on the channel um, illustrated that pretty well, I think. Somebody tried to fly down and just harass some units of mine. I caught them, and they weren't able to take off again. So I'm hoping that that is a commonplace. Alright, let's see what we have here. He's going on the hill. What do we have? A lot of spears. I like to see that. How many great swords? Virtually none. Okay, so he has a ton of artillery. His demigriffs, Reichsguard. Jeez, how many of those rocket things does he have? Okay. So we have to get around and get those rocket things. We gotta spread out here. Now, if I keep my people close, I should be able to regenerate through that. You know, this is kind of a slow crew that we have here. You can see we're regening up pretty well. Uh, we just want to keep moving. Now, is this guy actually thinking of coming in on this? With his horses? Surely not. That's fine. 
Uh, his Grave Guard are just super slow, so it's going to take a little minute before we can uh, get back up here. How many of these does he have? Or do they just fire really fast? Oh, those are all mortars, and oh, that's the super one that he's got, the really expensive one. Okay, so I just want to keep moving here a little bit, just to not give him easy targets. So far, he's just blowing up zombies, you know? I'll go ahead and move this back over here, I guess. Just to try to passively regen them up a little bit. Oh my gosh. Now that's not good. God. I was trying to keep my units, you know, close together here so that I get this regeneration going, especially on these guys. See, they're regening up, or they should be. A little bit. I'll know heck them once we all get up here into battle. It's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and just run these up here. And these. And these. These zombies should be running. There we go. Let's get the knights around here. Guys, run. Let's go. Go. Get in there. What are these back here? Are these demigriffs? Those are just Reichsguard. What are these? Oh, that's just the Reichsguard. Okay, I'm cool with that. Let's go. Let's go over to this side. Get in there. Oh my gosh, my Grave Guard are getting obliterated. Holy cow, okay, let's... I, I have to get someone over here to deal with that. Where's my dude? Get in here. Go split the middle over there. I think we should slaughter these guys, I think. We'll see. Where's the this guys in here? That's fine. Okay, get in there, guys. Let's go. I have to keep an eye on him. I don't want him to get too zeroed out. No, 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 no. Get over here. Tie that stuff up. Right here. Why can't we cast this? It's just not far enough. guys over here. I think, yeah, we should be dominating most of this over here. Pretty sure. Go ahead and shred all this stuff. Get down here. Kill all that. Uh... Alright, got them covered. Need to go over here. Shut that up. Oh jeez, that overcast, though, just wiped out like 70% of my health. I just realized they changed overcast so much in this patch. It's extremely dangerous to overcast now. Guy, get over here. Okay, all that's done. Let's go charge this in the back. Now he's going to go for the Necromancer because he's weak right now. Probably. I think he's going to go for the Necromancer. Well, <laughs> I just walked right by his lord and gave him a high five pretty much, so I'm not really sure why he chose not to go for that. Um, okay, yeah, we should have this pretty wrapped up. So those are done. Let's get down here and see if we can knock out these spears. What are these? Grave guard. Let's go over here and help this guy out a little bit. There's just too many on that. 
on that dude. Let's just ignore him and get over here and kill this stuff. I don't really care about him as much. I just want to kill all of his other units. Or it's just take forever to kill, and I'd rather just destroy the morale of the army. This guy can stay on him. Sure, wrap him up. Death ball going here. Let's go kill all these now. Anything that wants to rally back is fine. Tie the suit up. Okay, so anything that wants to come close to us again, we're just going to kill them. And otherwise, we're just going to stick on Valkamore here. I'm waiting until I get to 11 mana again, and then I'm going to cast an overcast in the heck here. I think these units can reach in more. Whoa, 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 what? Oh my gosh, this guy's way over here. Oops. Okay, well, we've got to back up, it's fine. I don't know why I chased so far. Dang, Volcamore is taking some hits. All right, yeah, they destroyed him. Let's see here, I think, I don't think they're gonna be able to stop me. Make out here. All right, get out here, kill him. Yeah, so with this new kind of undead style, oh geez, is that a... Yeah, we need to get over here and shut that up. They're about to get on these rocket batteries too. Get over there. Deal with that. Now we need to... Get out of there. Get that. Let's go deal with that. How is this dude not dead yet? Like, for real. God. I guess zombies must be the only thing that are really hitting him. I don't know. There we go. Now we're doing some damage to him. Okay, got him. Pyrrhic victory? <laughs> Whatever. Like, I think that was... That was pretty crush. I mean... They killed zombies. One battalion of graveguard, but uh, basically two battalions of graveyard. Everything else was super healthy. Like, look at how much greens left over here compared to the red. Like, literally, all he had left was this wizard and Volcamore. Like, everything else is dead. Like, these things are running. Like, this was really powerful, but I think a lot of those kills were zombies. You know, I'm not sure how much that thing costs. I feel like it's almost two thousand gold or something. It's a lot of gold for that thing. Um. These are okay, like these spearmen, you know, they perform pretty well. Once again, I suspect a lot of their kills were zombies. Zombies and Graveguard. I mean, the big things that mattered were these Crypt Horrors, and we managed to keep them out of the spears, if you notice. We were able to put them on the Reichsguard and keep them in the back. It was just Reichsguard and Swordsmen. So, I think that was, that was pretty good. I mean, do they base the Pyrrhic on how many losses you have? It doesn't affect your rating, I don't think. So you don't get more points for a better victory. I'm pretty sure. So it doesn't really matter that much. Um, but if that's the case, then, you know, Vampire Counts are almost always going to have Pyrrhic Victory if you're running zombies, which you should be because, I mean, zombies are borderline overpower, I think. Especially in this patch with the regeneration magic because they just have so much health and they take so long to hack through. And they're only 150 gold. Like, they're so cheap. And you can really tie things up. I mean, they even got some kills in there. I mean, 10 kills for a unit that costs 150 gold? And he doesn't really have trash units. Like, the biggest trash that he has are these spearmen. And they cost twice as much as the zombies. With the shields, they cost almost three times as much as the zombies. So, you know, anything these zombies kill are way, way more valuable than they are, I think. So, I don't know. I really like the zombies. Karen rates are okay. They're just there to cause terror soak up a bunch of hits they did that job pretty well same thing with these guys you know just apply poison soak up hits deal some armor piercing damage pretty strong 
Um, these are the, kind of the same deal. This guy didn't kill a whole lot. I mean, I had him just kind of, well, it looks like I had him chase like somebody across the entire map. So that was definitely a mistake. Uh, but it was good that I had that back up in a heck here as well, just so I could regenerate everybody up a little bit more. So I think this is a pretty strong composition. Um, just a lot of regeneration. Mortis engine. Uh, the necromancer on the chair. I mean, you can put the chair separate from the necromancer. I think you're saving a little bit of cost by keeping them on the same thing. Um, but I'll have to experiment and see. You know, there is, are, is some merit to keeping them separate as well. So that way, you know, they have to kill a bunch, like kill two separate units to stop all of the regeneration. I'll have to toy around with that and see. I'll let you know what I come up with. I think you save a couple of gold, a couple hundred gold by putting them in the same place. But then, you know, you're putting all your eggs in one basket a little bit more. Now, I don't like running... Running the Flying Lord would have been fine right here. But as I explained, there's just a lot of tricks people can do to assassinate your Lord if it flies. So and just saving that extra 400 gold on the Flying Mount is pretty solid. So I think overall pretty good on his side. I like the composition. It's interesting. I think that it's too much artillery. You just cannot run that much against um, Undead. I mean, this is 700 apiece or 750, something like that. That's fifteen hundred, and this probably costs around three thousand. So that's forty five hundred. So that's you know over a third of his army cost was spent on artillery, and of course it did not justify that cost. Like even one hundred thirty nine, if most of them are zombies. I mean, even if most of them are graveguard, that's not worth it. This graveguard cost seven fifty a piece. So this thing would have to you know kill three graveguards worth of stuff to be of equal value, which it certainly did not kill that much. Um, unless it has other kinds of utility. Now, it does have some utility in that it can scare people, I think, when you shoot them. Let me just look at that thing really quick. Let me see where I am, too, on the leaderboard here. Am I under 700 yet? Almost. I'm creeping down. I'm winning quite a bit, rolling my way down. I think a couple of weeks ago, you know, when I started really doing a lot more multiplayer things, I think I was around, like, 1,200... Maybe even more. Maybe it was like in the 1500 range. I don't remember. But I know I started at like 34,000 rating and now I'm like 42. That's pretty good. And I think the... Uh, so I've gained... Probably 8,000 8, and some change maybe. Over the course of probably about two weeks. I haven't even been playing it that much. Like some, as you can see, I only have 63 wins. But... See, to crack into the top... 100 here, I need 54,000. So I just need another 10,000. I've already gotten 8,000. Off my first 62 games so you know most of these people have well well over 62 games you know a lot of people have 500 um you know there's a couple of people this 141 it's pretty impressive to have that much 141 wins um but you know a lot of these top people 800 games oh i actually played against that guy i think huh party food because i recognize that name I want to go back and watch now. I didn't announce that he was a... I always like to announce if I play against the top 100 person. I think it draws more interest at the videos. I definitely played against this guy recently. I'm pretty sure that name sounds super familiar. So I'll have to go back and watch the replays and note um, if I played against him or not. If it was a good game. I feel like it was. Uh, Let's see. I think that's... How's my boy Blouse doing? No kip falling, good. Blouse is doing pretty well. He was up at 17, I think. Pretty good, doing pretty pretty good. People can change their name all the time, so it's hard to keep up with like who is whom. I think this person was Queen of Sex Slave. That I played in my dwarf number eleven video and beat. He had under a thousand wins, I remember that, and both of these guys have over that, so. I think this was the, uh, like, it was called, his name used to be like Retard CA Abandon Multiplayer or something like that. I assume, because the names are similar, you know, just kind of derogatory names. This guy just plays a ton of games, and I've seen him steadily climb. Okay, but let me look real quick here, and then we'll end the video. I just want to see how much that rocket battery thing costs. This was the Bretonia army. I do want to run Bretonia pretty soon uh, just to try them out i don't think people are gonna like it because i think bretonia is a sleeper like super powerful 
but it be, it's because they have flying hordes and potions and a lot of their stuff really didn't get touched and that's their whole thing they're super strong they have a massive air force with the pegasus knights everything else and all the rest of their stuff is very under costed super cheap so like these spearmen with shields are only 300 whereas the empire version is 400 so you're saving 25 percent gold on those these peasant bowmen i think are just about as good as the uh crossbowmen for empire so, you know, and those crossbowmen cost, I think, 525. So you're saving, you know, once again, about a fifth of the cost. Um, and these are very good relative to their cost. Like, I'm pretty sure these are better than Empire Knights, and they cost the same amount. So just pound for pound, gold for gold, um, they cost a lot less and are very similar to the Empire. They don't have as much flexibility. They don't have great swords, which is a major strike. But what they do have is a massive air force, which is one set of Pegasus Knights and a couple of paladins. So I do want to run them soon just to show you guys and gals how that works. I just have to find the right matchup. I don't want to do it against Empire because they can net of Amantaka and then shoot you down um, with a bunch of their gunners, potentially. Okay, that super rocket battery, yes, is 2,000. What does it do that's so special? It does a lot more damage. It does like almost 100% more damage, it looks like. Uh, it has flaming rounds, so it really uh, hurts undead quite a lot. Crypt Wars in particular. It has leadership, melee attack, and defense. That's it. I don't think it's worth it. I mean, it does a lot of damage, but you know, you have to remember about undead too, is they don't have range units, so as soon as they engage you and start fighting you, your artillery is going to basically be worthless. Another thing, especially with this patch, 1.3, they regenerate so much that, yeah, you're going to cause some casualties, probably, but, you know, they're going to heal back a lot of those. Now, they did wipe out a lot of the uh, Grave Guard as soon as I got up there because they hit them with a bunch of rockets, mortars, they, ca they overcasted the fire thing on one of them, and I think they cast the uh, other AoE thing with Volcamor. Whatever his name is, is that right? Yeah, Volkmar. So, it was pretty good. It was a pretty good match, but that's going to be it for this video. Thank you very much. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, I will play some more of uh, some more Empire and some more Bretonia coming up soon. I do want to get some Dwarves as well. Uh, I think I might try Dwarves into... I'm waiting for a Bretonian matchup or maybe Undead um, just to see how that works. I could maybe play them into Greenskins with a new build, but I will be playing more Dwarves here soon and more Empire because I know those are two things that people on my channel love. But I just, I think that into Empire, I like this build that I have for Vampire Counts. I think it's pretty powerful. Um, so, thank you very much. It's going to be it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, check out the rest of the episodes. We have a lot of uh, Vampire Counts, a lot of Greenskins, a lot of Empire, a lot of everything. And I usually post up at least two or three games of multiplayer every day, um, every day that I'm in town. And if you like my style, if you like the commenting, and you, you want to see some campaigns, I also have legendary campaigns going for every faction except for Chaos. We will do Chaos soon. It's just too much to try to handle five factions plus multiplayer plus League of Legends and all the other things that I do on this channel. Um, so check out that content. They're pure campaigns, which means I don't abuse the auto-resolve system. We get lots of good, clean fights, usually at least one per episode, sometimes two per episode. And the campaigns, you know... You can savor them. You can sit back and enjoy. It's not rushed. Um, I think it's a great time with lots of good drama and um, lots of excitement. So definitely check those out. They're a ton of fun. And that's going to be it. As always, it's a pleasure broadcasting for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And have a wonderful evening. I'll see you next time.